Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Sometimes one of the hardest things to do in college football is to stand your ground by keeping the ball on the ground. Over the last decade or so, we've seen an offensive explosion, much of it centered around the passing game. Sort of refreshing to see a team believe that it can win at the highest level by running the football in an old school kind of way. That's gonna do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk, David and I are back at halftime. the site for our game today and now it's time for the coin toss and it's brought to you by coke zero real coca-cola taste zero calorie enjoy everything we're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 24-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. He's going to air it long. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. They'll spread the field with five wide. to his tight end. Nothing to it. Holmes was the intended target on the play. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Wallace fields it at the 37. What a collision! Well, here comes the guy that we've all been waiting for, our player to watch this game. Denman's vision, his patience, Kirk behind center, really makes him a complete player. And Brad, both of those attributes are especially important anytime you're out on the road and you're playing in a hostile environment. This kid is really cool under pressure, and no matter how loud this crowd's going to get today, I don't think he's going to have much of a problem of blocking them out and playing his game. The Wildcats are feeling pretty good about themselves, especially after a record-setting performance last week. But the best thing they can do, put it all behind them and get back to work because those records don't mean anything today. Man left, man left. From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. He's on the run. Tackle at the 46-yard line. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point, so when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. 
caught, and this is going to be a first down. Brought down at about the 21. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. From the 21-yard line, first down. Gets out to around the six. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Two tight, two tight. He scrambled. Slides down to the ground. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and goal. Let's go deep. From the one yard line. Second down. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. So they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 52-yard drive. And they put up seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 27. Kansas State's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with and they get points, and right now they're out of the game. You never have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Here we go! Red! Throw's complete. He's got room to work. He gets hit out of bounds at the 38. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Catches it and he's looking for more. And he tackles him hard at the 31 yard line. And they got him for a loss. They're stopped two yards behind the line. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Third and five. Ball on the 33. Quickly, he's got the on another pitch. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. Rose comes away with around six yards, and that's also good for a first down. His quarterback still hasn't missed a receiver on this drive. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down around the 21-yard line. Taken down right around the eight yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. They're at the eight. Second down. will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Yeah, 
Boy, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. Kicks away, and it's puts the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Oklahoma State to kick. Wallace from the two. Tackle at the 25-yard line. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. A little handoff. They'll bring him down at the 23. Second down and 11. Ball on the 23. Kansas State is up four. They'll get him for a loss. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Burns is back deep to return the punt. And down he goes at the 46. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. And they make the stop around the 19-yard line. Inside the 10. He's tackled at the 6. And off on the counter. They bring him down in the backfield. I'd look for this offense to go back to some more straightforward between the tackles running. They want to win this thing in the trenches. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Big third and goal. Can the defense stop him? Wildcats had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. And he's level at the three-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That brings us fourth and goal. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Let's get the latest now. From Guns up. Texas Tech doing battle and love it. The Red Raiders continuing to pound the rock on the ground and score a touchdown. And for Moss, he's punched one into the end zone on the ground. Texas Tech leads it 17-10. 
27-0. Middle of the first. And for Kansas State, they met up with Texas Tech last week. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Back to return. Rebus fields it at the two. Tackle made at the 27. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Kansas State is up one. Fires that quickly, incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. He's to the 40, and down he goes, around the 43-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Tackle at about the 47-yard line. Third down, need to get it inside the 47. Strike to his receiver, no good. Cook was the intended receiver on the play. That's going to bring up fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Kansas State up a point. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail by Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. receiver and he can't make the grab that makes it second and ten second and ten ball on their own 21 ready waiting and he hits him hard at the 32 Pressure coming. Gets it out quickly. Tackle made at the 31. Falling back complete. Brought down around the 29-yard line. Oklahoma State's going to use their first time out of the half here. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. From the 29-yard line, it's second down. Fires out to his wideout. He's hit and taken down. Oklahoma State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Quick throw, 
And he's tackled at about the nine yard line. That brings him second and five. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 80-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. So the score now, 13-7. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 21. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's on the run. He's out to the 30. And he is drilled at the 35-yard line. The Wildcats taking their first time out of the half. First and 10. Ball on the 35. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Now he's scrambling. He's hit and got away. And he's taken down at the 41 yard line. He gained a good six yards on that scamper. He's going to try and scramble. Wildcat timeout. That's their second half. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. From the 44 yard line, first down. Once and all, going deep. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. Now he tries to buy some time. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. could break clear so the QB decided to run it in you've got to like it when your leader takes things into his own hands especially down inside the 10 the kicker on the field he'll try to put his team up by a point and he tacks on the extra point so that's a six play 80 yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard the score now 14 13 Barron has the ball all teed up and he's ready to kick this one off He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Well, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Throws it deep. Zips it over the middle. He's taken down right around the 14-yard line. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. The Cowboys using their third and last timeout. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. Plus State to kick. He really got a hold of that 
kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 21-yard line. So we've played two quarters. Oklahoma State in front, 16-14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. He's Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a player, please. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. we got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking at Helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes and that can happen? I'll try to. Are they stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you are to save this. Take it away. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He's to the 20. And he's tackled the 32 yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 32. They'll bring him down at the 33. Complete. He's got room. Out of bounds at the 41. Burns back deep to return. Makes it out to maybe the 40 yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Oklahoma State is up two. Tack on any yardage. Number 29 brings him down for the 44 yard line. That makes, that makes it second and six. six. Nice run, and he's brought down. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Hill is the putter. They'll bring him down at the 21. Yeah. 
This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. At the 30. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown. Big play. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. Kansas State holds a four-point lead. He's scrambling. They don't get it. Here's an update from the studio and receiver. Time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. Let's take yet another peek at this game. The Red Raiders' rushing attack can be difficult to stop, and they get into the end zone for a touchdown. Ertz is a determined runner and one that makes the most of every opportunity. He takes this opportunity to get it into the end zone. Texas Tech leads it 14-7, nearing the midway point. And for Kansas State, they met up with Texas Tech last week. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the six. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Denman's play so far in this football game, he's really the definition of just being a solid competitor every week. Yeah, I mean, you and I have been watching him, and just every week he is impressed us and then be able to sit down and talk with him i think that's the thing that really i took away from our meeting is not just is this guy a talented player but how competitive he is and we've seen that again in this football game just his competitive spirit leading this team and up to this point just a flawless performance and they make the stop at the 35. He's in trouble. Caught, and that's a first down. Tackle around the 48-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Zips it to the back, and down he goes around the 46-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Quick pass. Tackle made around the 45-yard line. That makes it third and seven. Three down, three down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, come on, Mike, it's 48. Right now, let's go. Here we go. Tiger. Tiger. Got it and brought down immediately. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. Little too much leg into that punt, they'll bring it out to the 20. Kansas State's the higher ranked team, and it's showing up right now. I think it just took them a half to kind of get things going. They were a little sloppy early in this game. They've settled down now, and this is the team we expected to see. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Kansas State is up four. Nice run there. Steele gains about five yards on the run. That brings him second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 25. Brought down at 
at the 27. Two yards there on the option keeper. That makes it Makes it out to about the 40. That's a team of 13 on the play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 40. So at the end of the third quarter, Kansas State leads it 2016. This final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Scrambling around. And he's tackled right around the 48-yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 48-yard line, first down. Makes it out to about the 29. Gain of 19 yards. First down. Kansas State is up by four. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He scrambled. And he's taken down at the 18-yard line. First down. This is the eighth play of this drive. And off on the draw. And he's level at the 18. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. for a loss. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. This is the 10th play of this drive. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Just over two minutes in the game. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. Wildcats and their team pretty happy with that field goal, but I think you got to give credit to the quarterback. But I think you got to go back to the drive. Uh, the kick was clutch, but I think what the quarterback did and the offense did was even more impressive. Barron looks ready to kick this one off. He's out to the 30. The 50. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line.
You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It can still go either way. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. Taken down at the 36. And he is drilled at the 30 yard line. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. From the 30-yard line, it's first down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He launches one for the end zone, and he will score. fourth quarter and the big question is in a game this close who's going to crack first the extra point to tie this game up he splits the uprights with the extra point just under a minute left in the fourth quarter and this game hasn't failed to disappoint we are tied up at 23 the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. Room around the corner. Knocked out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see the most leadership. hit before it can go anywhere. We have less than a minute to go. He's going to try and scramble. He can run. Steps out of bounds and that'll give him a first and goal. So here's where we find out who wants it more. First and goal. He fights forward to about the seven. the end of the fourth quarter and we are headed to overtime I know he ain't got it no 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 check that check that we're Mike 52 right here Damn. Come on. He gets out to about the 11 yard line. And here we are. We played four quarters and we still don't have a winner, so we go to overtime. And they'll get him in the backfield. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 13-yard line. Little screen pass. They'll bring him down at the six. That'll make it 35. in there got it touchdown well that's 
how you want to start off an overtime period to put the touchdown on the board and put the pressure now on them. They know they've got to match this touchdown if they want to stay alive. And he adds the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, let's take a look at Lovett. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. The Jayhawks strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. The Red Raiders are out front, 30 to 28. In other games, the Hurricanes and Gators in the battle for the Seminole War Canoe. And for Miami, their hot streak continues. And for Allen, he finished with one trip to the end zone. Miami takes the W by a deuce. All right, thanks, Reese. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 25. Ready? And as he threw it in, it's caught. Touchdown. It's a nice touchdown, but they still need the extra point to tie it up. It's a lot of pressure on a kicker. You never know about the jitters. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. Well, it's going to take another round at least. You can bet the coaches are going to look to be more aggressive on both sides of the ball. From the 25-yard line, first down. Let's go! He heaves it to the end zone. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Tackle at the 17-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. The 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Catches it, and that's all. A five-yard gain. The slant is so hard to defend when the pass is right on the money but at least the defense was there to keep it from turning into a bigger play. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Takes the ball right. They'll knock him down for a loss. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15.
It's up, and it's good. And it's great having a kicker you can rely on in the clutch. Now they live to play another overtime. Both teams are dead tired, but one is going to outlast the other. This is looking like a classic in the making. It's first and ten. Ball in the 25. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's going right. Quick throw. Caught. Touchdown. So with a first possession in the third overtime, this offense takes six. There's no resting easy yet. They still have to stay on the field and try to convert a very crucial two-point conversion. So the offense is going to go for two. Hey, Mike 52. Mike 52. Kansas State with a six-point lead. 